It's time to crown a champion of the HSBC Cathay Pacific Hong Kong Sevens. Fiji v Argentina, South Africa finalists here last year against Spain. Yes, Spain qualifying for the first time since 2012. The USA up against New Zealand and Kenya v Scotland. <laughs> Very, very in midfield. The semi Kunatani. Kunatani with the offload. Sow on the left wing. He's been devastating in his rookie season on the series. And he finds the offload back to Samasoni. Vidi Vidi, who's under the posts. Zarin Davids, such a competitive character, lovely work by Davids, fantastic work, and that secured a hat-trick of tries for Yamula Duplessis. New Zealand coach Roger Randall giving his entire squad a shot late in the piece here. They're going to impress him as well as they break away once more. Carlin Isles gets there and makes the tackle, but he got the jump on him. Celesi Rayasi. You can be patient here, Kenya, because they've got possession and trying to get on the outside of Graham. Now McFarlane comes at him and he breaks away. He's got the pace, and he could possibly win the game for Kenya. What a run from Jeffrey Oliwich. Kenya! The Cup semi-finals. First up, Fiji against South Africa. The top two teams on the overall standings on the HSBC World Rugby 7 Series. And here they come again, South Africa, breaking out of their lines. Ball over the top. Leading 12-5 already and bursting through is Selwyn Davids. Selwyn Davids is in again. He's got a first-half hat-trick. What a score. Nasila Silla with a high kick. That one's got snow on it and it's been brought down Back. by... Kunatani and here's 2Y, Jerry 2Y, Fiji have got to roll on here, he's got Nasila Silla inside, Nasila Silla still going, Amenone, Nasila Silla, support for 2Y, and the Fiji crowd go crazy. 19 all, three minutes to go, cup semi-final number one. Something's got to give. Here come Fiji. It's Aaron Sal. Sal! What a tackle! Stedman guns again, it was. But they snuck over Fiji in the corner. It's Nasila Silla. Brutal charge from Oscar Uma. And they're missing a player in the D-line here in New Zealand. Kenya with a one-man advantage, getting through the line. And it's Collins Injera. Who go in next to the sticks. Huge runs of play from New Zealand and Kenya. Here's Injera with his side sole try. And the first half cuts back in field. This guy is the business and has been the business for oh so long. Injera right on half time. Now Injera taps it down. Right 
And now an opportunity on the breakout for Kenya! They're going to take it 95. And it's going to be big Willy Umbaka breaking New Zealand hearts. Ten away here, Nasilla Silla slaps off the first up tackle. Now with Nasoko, Nasoko across to Vakurunambili. Vakurunambili! It's easy early for Fiji. Two eye. Who does he give it to? Vakurunambili. Sell! In for Fiji. And Monday. Two of the biggest blokes on the field collide there. Kunavola, here they come. Kenya getting close. Oh, so close. Centimeters away, Kenya. They reach for the line. They look to have knocked it on. Or is it play on? Dana Murphy says it's all good. Billy Oyambo with a try. Too high, and his side looking for the knockout blow here. Nanduva shifts it across for Revolvo. Lovely line on the outside. They cut back in field. Is this another five pointer coming for the Fijians? It's their top point scorer, Nasila Silla, sending it back to Revolvo. Try Fiji. Thank my boys for a team effort. I'd like to thank the Kenyan team for the good game and all the team that uh, is on the series. Hong Kong is always special for us. As you can see, we bring our number one team here. We respect and we honour the tradition and the history that uh, Fiji have with the Hong Kong 7. Four years running. Kings of Hong Kong. That result has had some big implications on our series table. Look at that. Fiji are breathing down South Africa's neck now. Three points the difference. That is nothing with three tournaments still to play. We've got Singapore, Paris and London still to come. New Zealand jump in a third position tonight. Argentina leapfrog Australia with the USA, Kenya and England rounding out our top eight. It is goodbye, goodnight, and we'll see you all again in three weeks in Singapore.